Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers and to all the intending fathers. Happy Father's Day. Fatherhood is a responsibility. May you not fail in your responsibilities in the name of Jesus. Every father in the house, the hand of God will distinguish us in the name of jesus we will not fail in our responsibility in the name of jesus whatever has not been working or whatever is making your fatherhood a mockery we put an end to it now in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name we pray celebrate jesus one more time celebrate jesus hallelujah we wish our father in the lord apostle johnson suleiman happy father's day daddy will love you your children ofm randberg will love you and happy father's day and we wish our national father pastor paul adogamen happy father's day celebrate jesus hallelujah can you just look for a father in the house and say thank you thank you thank you happy father's day amen hallelujah yes even if you're yes mr is happy for that day happy for that day i think my drama is are you a father you're married a battle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah amen. praise the lord you know in as much as we say this world would have been a misery without women but would have been a more misery without men <laughs> praise god Hallelujah. because men are in the image of god and men are created for leadership so where the leadership of a father is lacking will the resultant effect will be untoward generation you know what the bible said he said it came to pass that the man that was in the regime of joshua the man that knew god in the time of joshua when joshua passed on the man that knew god in his time still retained god but it came to pass that when the generation of them that knew god were out there came a generation that knew not god and it's sad to say we are almost in that generation we are almost in that generation that does not know god if your generation will know god you have to start now they will not children will not believe in the god you don't believe in children will not believe in the god they don't they did not grow up to meet you serving so if your child 
please, Mr. Miracle, can you stand? If your child grow up to see you dedicated to God, they will not do otherwise. The Bible said concerning Abraham, he said, I know him. He will command his children after him. He will command. He will command. He didn't say he will beg them. He didn't say he will pet them. He will command his children after him. A father is both a commander, a disciplinarian, a shepherd, a lover, a or should I put it, an executioner of any wrong. The reason um, our society, especially the Sadek, is where it is today because fathers have failed in their responsibilities. We have more single mothers than we have responsible fathers. Hallelujah. So if we want the society to be good, to be better, let's take the responsibility from the women and handle it as a father. Hallelujah. Let's take the responsibility from the women. And as a father or intending father, do not put your children into errors when they are not mature for it. In other words, do not expect them to start taking care of you when they are not standing. If not, they will become robbers or fraudsters. And never compare your children with other children. It's just that we are deciding not to be disrespectful. We can also compare our fathers with other fathers. <laughs> when your father is telling you, can't you see your mates? With humility, ask him, daddy. How old are you? How old is Big Gate? <laughs> How old is Dangote? Hello? The man that bought uh, calf here. Um, Mo, Mo Sipe. You will ask your father. When Mo Sipe was making his money, where was thou? We are chasing women. You're asking me, I can't I see my mate? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So please, let's not be that father that frustrates the effort of their children. The reason children don't grow up to take care of their fathers on time because their father never lived for their children. They lived their life. Don't live your life as a father. Live the life of your children. Live the life of your children. Hallelujah. Amen. When you live for your children, you create a future for them. I was talking with somebody. Yeah, I was talking with my pastor friend. I said, you can't compare, for instance, our father and the lost children now. The first daughter should be 17. And the awareness they have and the one you have is not the same. Before they are marriageable age, their account should be smelly. And you, you are trying to even save a thousand. And in that small you are doing, your parents are putting you under pressure to make sure you take care of them. If you don't want to repeat the same errors, of your spirit there are certain stand you should take now hallelujah there are certain stand you should take now it is you first before anybody hallelujah so please let's not push our children into what they will regret in their old age hallelujah when i see some people how they take care of their children i just know my future is secured. The future of my children is secured. Because the battle they will fight is what I'm fighting now. My father didn't fight it. He left it for his children. Some escaped it. They didn't fight it. So they are leaving it for their children. Hallelujah. But I told myself, I said, I will not leave any battle 
for my children. They will be born into wealth. I was not born with any spoon at all. Even wound this spoon, I was not born with it. But I'm creating a platinum spoon for myself. <laughs> so that when my children come, they will not know what is called suffering. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's now. If you don't want to suffer now, your children may repeat tomorrow. Like I said during the week, I, I said something I said, it is better to get wealth in your evening time, in your evening season, than to get wealth in your morning time. Because it is evening that rich money. <laughs> it is evening that rich money. So when you make your money between 6 a.m. and 12 noon, and you exhaust it, from 12 noon to about 5.59 a.m., you may leave it struggling. That's why you now see some parents use prosperity as a proverb. And my grandfather said something, when you remember prosperity, know that you are in poverty. Do you understand it? I remember when I was in money. Now you are poor. But your testimony was, would be, I remember when I was begging. Yes, sir. Anytime a man say, I remember when I was begging, know that that man is blessed already. Yes, sir. And that will be your testimony. Yes, I said, that will be your testimony. Yes, that will be your testimony. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Today, the fathers have taken much of our time. So, and I hope that you will not be angry when you give me one or 30 minutes. Praise the Lord. To do what the Lord <laughs> has asked me to do this morning. But we'll not see new, new today. Amen. Because we are coming here by four again for the couple's um, meeting. Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So if you are um, semi, like my boy, is uh, is invited. I'm personally inviting Tabiso. <laughs> he has paid the baller, so he's, he's qualified. He's qualified. Let's clap for him now. Don't be jealous. It's not easy to pay the baller. It's not easy. And he didn't do it via Zoom. He bought a ticket and went there. I'm proud of you. You are a true son of your father. I'm proud. And I'll be, I'll be prouder <laughs> when you walk through this. Ah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we will sponsor your wedding. Yeah, we will sponsor your wedding. Yeah, How many of you agree with me? Tabiso? Huh? If they agree. I like that one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you Lord. I'm going to take one prayer for every father. I'm going to say, Lord, we pray for the fathers. In our midst, we pray for our biological fathers. For those of us that still have fathers, and we pray for our spiritual fathers. Oh God, we ask for grace to represent you on earth. Grace to represent you. Rest upon every father in the name of Jesus. Wherever fathers are failing, Lord, correct them. Correct us as fathers. Open your mind and begin to pray for every father. Batiko Shalaba Reketoto Bragadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagad
with holes in nothing with holes in nothing with holes in nothing with holes in nothing i surrender i surrender to you everything everything i gave to you we hold it nothing 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 I did not I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I Lord in nothing, we Lord in nothing, we Lord in nothing, I give myself away. I give myself away. So you, can you, I give myself, I give myself away. I give myself away. So you, can you. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship is all in Sing like never before, oh my soul, worship is all in Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I will worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my she is only there. Lord, I remember the place where you brought me from. 
Lord, I thank you for where I am today. I see your doorway and you say in my life, Lord, I'm grateful for the future I see. Lord, I'm grateful for the future I see. Lord, I remember the place where you brought me from. Lord, I thank you for where I am today. I see your doorway and you take in my life. Lord, I'm grateful for the future I see. Lord, I'm grateful for the future I see. It will never leave my mind How you save me You deliver me from darkness A Calvary I see your doorway And you take in my life, Lord, I'm grateful for the future I see. Lord, I'm grateful for the future I see. Lord, I'm grateful. For the future, I say, Lord, I'm grateful for the future, I say, Lord, I'm grateful for the future, I see. Lord, I'm grateful for the future I see. Thank you, Father. Lord, we ask that you show yourself this morning. and Let everyone hear, hear the word that will liberate our soul. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If your wife has been giving you a very good atmosphere to be a good father, can you celebrate your wife? I celebrate my wife. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, for being the best. I didn't miss it. I did not. I did not. Hallelujah. I did not miss it. Come, let me give you a hug, please, honey. Let me give you a hug. I didn't... Can't you see how beautiful my wife is? Please. I love you. God bless you. If you are not married, don't be jealous. Hallelujah. If you are not married, don't be jealous. You may not understand. You may not understand. It takes, it takes a good wife to be a good father takes a good wife to be a good father. So all the wives of the husbands in the house, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are men that vow they will never beat their wife, but their wife will provoke the man to beat them. Praise God. <laughs> but thank you for not provoking the animals in your husband. Every man got an animal. So... There's a, there's a level God can tame that animal. So you can either re make the animal remain tamed for life or lose the animal sometimes. 
Hallelujah. Proverb, Proverb 4, 7 to 9, and 8, 12 to 19. Let's see how fast we can go. Praise Jesus. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord, hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord, hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Please, can you put your phones on silent, please? It is, you can stand before governors, local government, and you on your phone. Praise the Lord. Amen. You, I'm talking now, and somebody's working out. Uh, put your phone on silent. Hallelujah. Amen. It's part of what we are going to be looking at this morning. So maybe I will start with that person to start preaching. Then you will know I'm actually talking to you. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm your pastor. And today's Father's Day. So I'm going to be a father today. And beyond. <laughs> wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, with all thy getting, get what? Exalt her. And she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory, shall she deliver to thee. Hallelujah. Chapter 8. Sudekiba Aparadash. From verse 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is my and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. Wisdom is talking. <laughs> By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. Wisdom's secret to a greater heart. That's what we're looking on this morning. Wisdom secret to a greater heart. Please take your seat in God's glorious presence. Wisdom secret to a greater heart. To become what God has ordained for you to become is not a function of labor. It's a function of wisdom rightly applied. There are people that think that what will make them is labor. Labor is good. Don't get me wrong this morning. But laboring without the application of wisdom is laboring in vain. The Bible says, wisdom has built a house. Wisdom has built a house. With wisdom, build a house and true understanding is furnished. To keep anything moving, anything living, anything succeeding, you need wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. What is wisdom? Common sense. And common sense is not common. Sometimes people will ask you, don't you have common sense? 
That means doing common things in an uncommon way is common sense. Praise the Lord. Wisdom. When you move with people who has wisdom, with time, it rubs on you. I, I, I remember <laughs> we had a leader who was wisdom bank at a time when the spirit of wisdom from him entered me I knew I just sat down in my office I started perceiving certain, uh, certain dimensions the way he will talk to people the way he will relate to people I just started acting like that I said wow this thing has entered when you increase in knowledge, you know. When you increase in wisdom, you know. He said, wisdom is too high for a fool. Wisdom is too high for a fool. When you operate in a dimension of wisdom, in the midst of foolish people, they won't understand you. Praise the Lord. In life, whatever you will be or become is never a function of how hard you can walk, but how far and how wise you can apply wisdom to everything. There is how to do a business, you need the wisdom. There is how to relate to clients, you need the wisdom. There is how to compliment people that will make them always come around you. There's one thing I love about especially colored and the white South Africans. Few blacks do that. When they see you dress, no matter how hurry they are moving, they must slow down to compliment your dressing. Wow, you look nice. Wow, where did you get this thing? Made you look wow, wonderful. A black man. I told us, was it last Sunday or last Sunday? I said, I'm not black, I'm not white. I am in the image of God. So any eyes you look at me, I am. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 23 verse 4. Let God not to be rich. Cease from your own wisdom. The Passion Translation put it, he said, do not envy others because of your ambition. Labor not to be... See, it's the Bible said in Ecclesiastes, the labor of fools wearied every one of them. He does not know how to go over the, to the city. He does not know how. So what differentiates you from others is the knowing how. And knowing why. During the youth meeting with um, our national pastor, Pastor Paul, he said something. He said, when you know how, you get a job. But when you know why, you employ people. <laughs> that is wisdom. There are people that all they pray about is to get a job. Whereas God has created you to employ labor. To be an employer of labor. Say in the name of Jesus. I receive wisdom to buy into the mind of God for my destiny. I receive wisdom to buy into the heart of God for my future. Say amen. As any time you think you know and refuse to listen to wise counsel, either from those above you or those below you, you actually take a step backward. There is, see, a, a wise man said, he stays around wise people to get wiser and stays around foolish people to know how not to be foolish. In every nonsense, there is a sense. No matter, see, if you have pride, you can never grow. If you have pride, you can't grow. Why? Because when people are talking to you, you are rating them from the level they are. You are in your level. There are people in their level that knows what you don't know in their level. 
I said it before that any company that does not raise people to go into the grassroots, like the, the, the shark areas, the location area, you say, no, 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 let's go to places like Santin, Hyde Park, uh, Bryanston, let's go to those places where they have raw areas. Your company will suffer. Because the people that actually patronize most big companies are from those areas. You know why you need to listen to those below you? They know what you don't know. Because you've passed that level. It's hard for people who are high-minded to come to people who are low-minded. Do you know your child can give you wisdom? See, to, to despise little children or those who are below you is not a display of wisdom. It's a display of foolishness. A display of foolishness. Hello, sir, are you with us? Okay. A display of foolishness. Proverbs 23, 23 say, Buy the truth and sell it not. Buy the truth and sell it not. Not just only the truth, though. Wisdom. You buy wisdom. When you stay around people who are wise, learn to listen. Don't talk. <laughs> when you stay around wise people, learn to listen. When you keep hearing elders talk, when you open your mouth, ah, people will say you are an elder. You know what David said? I know more than my teachers. And I have ancient wisdom. Why? Because when he's around teachers, it does not teach. The problem with this generation, when we stay around teachers, we want to teach. When we are around mentors, we want to mentor our mentors. When you try to mentor your mentor, it will become a tormentor to, to you. Imagine now you are talking to your father. He says, excuse me, dad. Let me tell you the way you are not fathering well. You don't have right. You don't have the moral backings. You don't have the legal right to tell a father how to father you. But when you become a father, you will understand. I remember when I was teaching, lecturing in Bible school, I, 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 there was a couple, there were pastors who had issues in their marriage. I, as a young boy, as a youth, I sat them down, open scriptures, quarrel died. So this understanding about marriage, I know it has stayed. Quarrel died. They say, why are you not taking marriage course in the Bible school? I said, the dean said I'm not married. I only know theory, not practical. So when you are married, and you have stayed in marriage for some years, you will have the practical wisdom to teach about marriage. That's why these days, I don't, is my opinion. You may have your opinion. I don't listen to people who are not married but talk about marriage. Because what they have is theory. It's head knowledge. When your wife provokes you, and you have the, 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 the patience to tolerate her, and when you talk about understanding your spouse, we will listen. Don't give us head knowledge. Oh, seven keys to a successful marriage is a lie. No marriage has keys to success. Yes, sir. People determine the manual that works for their marriage. Yes, I can't use my manual for your bed for your marriage. Yes, if not, you will head to rock. Yes, sir. There are some men that no matter they love their wife, they will never go, go to the washing sink. To the sink to wash the, the dishes. No, never. No matter they love their wife, they will never enter the kitchen. So if I do that and I use it as a manual, oh, you must help your wife in the kitchen. I'm creating a problem for a man who does not know how to do that thing. So you don't, it is an error to try to use another person's manual for your wedding or for your marriage. Praise the Lord. Papa said, no keys to successful marriage. Is what they think works for them. So if you apply it, it works for you, it's good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you still with me at all? Holy yes, Abatabada. You must be ready to invest in knowledge. When you stay around wise people, keep silent and learn. 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 
It is called investment. Silent is investment around wise people. Hello? Silence is investment around wise people. When a wise man is talking to you and you are calm listening, they will understand that this guy is wise. But when they are talking, they say one sentence, you are saying two. Ah, If you observe, they will not talk again. They will keep quiet. And try to cancel some people and they want to cancel me. I, keep, I listen to their cancel. When they are done, just be looking. <laughs> when you are done, go. Can I pray with you now? Father, help this person. <laughs> Praise God. So when you listen to why, when you learn to listen to wise people more, you become wiser in your dealings with those around you. I was supposed to say we know in part. Please, can you put off this heat up? I was supposed to say we know in part. We prophesy in part. Nobody is a custodian of wisdom. God is the only custodian of wisdom. No matter how wise a man is, there is a foolish side of him. Solomon was wise. Do you know Solomon got to a point that people could not advise him? Don't get wisdom to a point that people can advise you. It's not wisdom, it's arrogance. When you think you have acquired enough wisdom and people cannot advise you, you don't have wisdom. All you have is display of arrogance. Do you know, it may sound funny, it may sound funny, I have learned one or two wisdom from members I pastor here. So walk to me in the office and say, Papa, can I talk to you? I say, yes, talk to me. Sir, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Don't you think this, did it? I say, well, thank you. Some may hurt. Leave the hurting. Take the lesson. Leave the hurt. See, every constructive criticism or any kind of criticism always hurts. Hello? And whether constructive criticism criticism <laughs> anything called criticism always hurts you are putting your best and somebody will say is that all you could do you're more than that how can you you feel somehow praise the lord oh jiabahate kariado shatabala so one of the easiest way to acquire wisdom is through diligent observation diligent observation proverb 23 26 he said my son give me thy heart and let thy eyes observe my ways years ago i met our father in the lord i was still in ND. I was still in ND, I think, um, year one in Polytechnic. I went to a meeting for counsel. And as soon as it was my turn to be counsel, and he said, Why are you here? I said, I want to learn ministry. He said, I know. Ministry is wide. I will teach you. Ministry is wide. I will teach you. It will shock you. I've been in Omega for 16 years and some months now. Papa has not called me to say, Alex, come. I told you I will teach you ministry. This is ABC of ministry. No. My son, give me the heart. And let your eyes observe my ways. I have learned everything I've learned in ministry or in life was on the platform of observation. Observation. Just that many of us, we look, we don't see. What we see different. Praise the Lord. What we see different? Eyes that look are many, but eyes that see are few. What are you seeing? Learning by observation. Learning by observation. Children learn most by observation. That's why when you teach a child anything pictorially, it stays in their brain. He stays there till they die. 
That's why some theories you teach people, they don't. There are some examples now that you will remember, you forget the message. Even as adults. All the jokes is what you remember because that's what spell out the message to you. But the real thing you may even forget. Praise the Lord. Say, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. In the name of Jesus. I said the reason we fail most time to easily identify an enemy among those around us is because we fail to observe. When people are around you, don't be carried away by their accolade, accolade, ecomium, telling you you are the best. In fact, I will die for you. It's a lie. Anybody that tells you would die for you will not die. Say, my father, my father, we die here. Eh? No, don't die here. People live here. They don't die in this place. They live. Am I communicating now? You say, I'm with you, my father. I'm with you, sir. sir I'm with you. When you shake them, they tell you, I'm following you. No more with you, but follow. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, shaka bilo baraka pataya. La ka ta 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 ta. As if you have people walking under you, don't always be carried away by their leap praise. True. See, let me tell you the truth. People, are you with me at all? But the way some of you are looking at me, I don't understand. <laughs> when people are around you, don't always look out for those that sing your praise look out for those that are silent the silent people among your team may either know positive thing or negative thing look out for them <laughs> you're in a meeting after you finish discussion is anybody has anything to say everybody keep mute ah two things are involved but we're not going to that two things that involve. <laughs> Praise God. Look out for those who are silent. Those who talk, they don't mean it. Hello? Those who always sing your praise, most times don't mean it. But in leadership, we fail to identify them. Because every leader gravitates towards those that sing their praise. And retreat from those that always criticize their errors. Hallelujah. Are you here? Yes, sir. There are certain regrets we could have avoided if we had observed what the Spirit was prompting us. There are certain things that should not have happened. So you need wisdom and discernment to maintain lasting relationships. I'm one person, I don't throw away relationships. I don't. I may not be in communication with you, but you are still in my heart. Am I communicating now? There's a word that says 20 children can play for 20 years, but there are some that stick together. The challenge with many of us is that we throw away friendship easily. Don't. No matter what people do to you, be the, don't be the one that breaks the bridge. Let them be the one to break it. Praise the Lord. Let them be the one that breaks the bridge. Hallelujah. Three, three weapons of wisdom needed for a greater height. Three weapons of wisdom. Three weapons of wisdom. Number one weapon is the weapon of gratitude. The weapon of gratitude. Daniel 4, 20 to 37. King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and called for all his magicians to interpret. They could not. This one, he told them the dream. 
The previous dream, he said, I forgot. Tell me my dream <laughs> and the interpretation. But this one, he told them his dream. And he said, on that dream, I dreamed that there was a voice from heaven that said, cut off the tree. Give the person an animal heart. Let him go to the bush. And he said, Daniel, I have heard that thou had the spirit of the gods in you. And you can discern wisdom. You can discern dreams. You can discern sounds. He said, tell me, don't be afraid. You know, when Daniel heard the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, for one hour, Daniel was confused. He said, I, Daniel, for an hour, I was in confusion. I didn't know what to say. Daniel was just saying, ah, hmm, I fear God. I fear God. I fear God. And Nebuchadnezzar said, Daniel, don't be afraid of the interpretation. Tell me. And Daniel said, what you saw, you are the person. It's seven seasons we pass. Seven times we pass you. That's seven years. And you will go to the forest and go and learn gratitude from animals. And the Bible says, after 12 months, God gave him room to avoid that thing. But he failed to give grace, to give thanks to God. One day, after 12 full months of seeing that vision, one day was walking in his empire and his heart began to say can you see the glory of babylon look at the majesty of babylon how great is babylon how great is nebuchadnezzar and the word of the lord came expressly to him regarding the vision he saw he said now that thing i showed you a year ago today will be activated immediately his heart was removed if you don't have a heart of gratitude, you may receive the heart of animal. Animals don't give thanks. Animals are not grateful. Let an animal be in danger. Rescue the animal. It will run. It will never turn back to, to say thank you. So when you are not grateful, you understand. I'm not the one that is saying so. <laughs> Praise God. And immediately he went to the bush. For seven, the Bible says, and the dew began to wet his body, and the hair began to grow like eagle's feather. That means it was both a goat and a bed. He was eating grass. When he returned, you know what he said? He said, I give glory to God. <laughs> I give glory to God. There is none like him. He rules in the heavens and in the kingdoms of men. He rules. Gratitude is a weapon of wisdom that will take you far. When you always say thank you, you are asking for more. When you say thank you, you are asking for more. Your wife cooked for you. Don't say thank you, Jesus. It's not Jesus that cooked. Oh, you finished fellowshipping in the bedroom. Oh, don't just turn. Say thank you. Thank you, honey. Thank you, dear. Even if you pay Lobola, you pay. She can decide not to give you. She can decide to wear seven trousers. And before you lose all of them, you have lost interest. Praise the Lord. The last one, you didn't thank her. Now you are coming again. You said, I'm sick. In fact, that area needs attention. <laughs> Praise God. We will discuss this evening. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Tell somebody, be grateful. be grateful. Has anybody ever helped you? Be grateful to them. The greatest affliction that we plague humankind is the affliction of ingratitude. And you can never be grateful so long you keep forgetting. Forgetfulness is the undoing of believers. Satan is not our greatest enemy or adversary in church. The greatest adversary in church is forgetfulness. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Psalm 103, from verse 1 to 5. And all that is within me, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not one of his benefits. One. 
You had 10 prayer points listed down. God answered one. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not one of his benefit. You don't know what God has done for you. Go to the hospital, you will know that God is faithful. Go to the mortuary, you will know that God is faithful. And God is keeping you alive. You say, what has God done for me? Anything that happens to you, Lord, why me? Are you, are you a witch? Anytime you ask God, why you? You are... You are, you are you are actually exhibiting witchcraft character. And the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 18, in everything, give thanks unto God, for this is the will of the Father consigning you. There is no food on the table. Thank you, Lord. There is no shelter. Thank you, Lord. Do you know inside this winter, there are people sleeping on the street? In your bedroom, you are still shaking that the cold is too much. Someone is under the bridge. You think you are better than them? Be grateful. Tell your neighbor, thank you. For sitting next to me alone. Thank you. There are people that come to church, they just look at some faces, they walk away. You say, no, I can't sit next to this person. And you can tell me thank you for pastoring you now. Yeah. Praise God. You think, it's not easy to pastor you and be sincere. I can decide to be just to make some things happen. <laughs> to find sincere pastors is not easy. So when you find one, be grateful to them. You know what it means? To go through the pain and you are still holding on to God. Some have sold their faith and mislead the sheep. They don't even care about the sheep. And you find a pastor that cares about you. You should be grateful. Some will say, what has my pastor done for me? Really? Should I start exposing certain things from your foundation? Some of you, what came with you? Not all pastors can withstand it. Yet, I have chased it under grace. There was a time we were doing deliverance when we were in Paris Avenue. I think Bravito can, can remember. He said to me, sister, I was scared on your behalf. When I saw the manifestation, I was scared on your behalf. The lady, you know, when the lady got up, he said, In fact, her grandmother is a professor in witchcraft. That same person woke up one day and just turned her back on pastor. I went with an elderly pastor to her house because she was not coming to church. For two hours we were there, she did come down. The daughter went up, pastor is here, she refused. Husband went up, pastor is here, she refused to come down. For two hours, I was angry, but I was controlling because I'm a shepherd. But one thing I said, I said, for this she has done, she will know. In no short distant time, she will know. But you don't dishonor grace. Praise the Lord. If a president or even a local government said he's coming to your house, you will cancel all appointments. Why? Because you are looking for physical things. I always say, what has my pastor done for me? To be preaching to you now. Till 1 a.m. last night, I was still preparing. Woke up this morning praying again. Was in the office feeling dizzy. You think it's easy? The message that bless you, and some of you just take it mm, and you go home without even saying thank you. Mm, mm, what a word. Stop saying what a word. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh, I will receive it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Gratefulness is a weapon to rise to the heart. When you keep saying thank you, men will keep pushing you up. When you keep showing gratitude, men will keep pushing you up. Why? Because say, this guy is lawyer. He understands the language. So they take wisdom to understand the power of gratitude. Forgetfulness is an affliction caused by ingratitude. No matter where you are now, remember that may we a ladder for you to climb. May we, see, let me tell you the truth. Even if you can't see them physically around you now, somewhere, somehow, somebody has spoken for you. Somewhere, somehow, somebody has recommended you. You have to be grateful. 
is a weapon for a greater heart. Weapon for a greater heart. Say, Lord, I'm grateful. If you remember where you are coming from and where you are now, there are people that you are a prayer point to them. Lord, make me like this sister. If I can, and yet you are crying that nothing is working. Somebody is praying that they should be like you. I heard a story how someone went to the bush, you want to take his life. And another person came out of the bush naked. He said, please, before you die, can you give me your clothes? And he said, ah, hey, I'm better than somebody. Else. I'm not dying. You are better. See, the world is about more than seven point something billion. You are better than seven six point nine 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 billion people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are better than the richest man on earth. Tell yourself, I'm better than the richest man on earth. I am unique. I am unique. Celebrate your uniqueness. Be grateful to, for, to God for who you are. No matter the heights you have, you have reached, now gratitude will take you higher. Ingratitude will bring you lower. In politics, people celebrate loyalty. If you are not loyal, nobody will take you higher. In ministry, loyalty is a prerequisite to be father. These days, you need loyalty. <laughs> Praise God. Are you still here? If you check Daniel 5 24 to 30, Beshazzar, uh, um, the son of King Nebuchadnezzar, took over. And was not grateful for the position he was. Why he was still drinking. Handwriting appeared on the wall. Mene, mene, take care of us. Thou, the Lord has numbered your kingdom and he has finished it. Thou art weighed in a balance and have found one thing. Your kingdom shall not continue. The next verse said he was murdered. He was murdered. And the king that took over, Cyrus, and the Lord was Cyrus was not a believer, but yet the Lord said, Thus saith the Lord unto Cyrus, whose right hand I am holding, to subdue nations before him, to loosen the loins of kings unto him, and their hands shall be open like the tulip gate. It shall not be shut. I will go before thee and cut in pieces the bars of iron and break asunder the gate of brass, and I will give you treasures in secret places and riches in darkness in the soul he said though you have not known me you have not known me but you are grateful you wonder why god bless the infidel because they are grateful only a grateful is ungrateful i prophesy hey hey yeah, da, da, da. i prophesy into your life as you hold on to gratitude i activate isaiah 45 1 to 3 into your life i activate Isaiah 45 1 to 3 to your life enjoy prosperity enjoy acceleration enjoy open heavens in the name of Jesus gratitude is a weapon of wisdom gratitude gratitude before you complain always remember what somebody has done for you Always remember. So anytime we fail to give thanks sincerely unto God, we are reduced to the state beyond comprehension or recognition. God will not be encouraged to keep blessing you when you keep accusing him after blessing you. In everything, give thanks. You understand that statement? When there is no food, Father, thank you. They fired you from work, thank you, Lord. They, 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 they stop you from achieving your, your goals. Thank you, Lord. Your father lock you in the room. Start praying. Thank you, Lord. Many of us may not know the reason why we've never gotten repeated favor. Because we've never shown gratitude for the first one. Whoever gives you a cup of water, 
say thank you. If I keep thanking the person. Do you know this hard time we are in now? If somebody remembers you to give you money, you better be grateful. Don't say it's not enough. Eh? <laughs> Praise God. Don't say it's not enough. You may not know the value of 100 rand until you are broke. And you are looking for 10 rand to balance your money. You know this place, taxi drivers, they don't play with one cent. You want to, you're supposed to pay them 20 rand and you have 19 rand 50 cent. You must look for 50 cent to balance it. Even in the mall, you must look for that 50 cent. Who will pay for you? No, who will pay? When people are looking for, these days you can hardly find 10 cent on the, on the floor. You can hardly. People pick it to the last cent. And somebody just think of you and buy you a time. You were flashing the person back. Especially with those boyfriend and girlfriend things. Your boyfriend buy you a time, you flash him back to call you or you use WhatsApp. Can't you test him or call him for one minute to say thank you? If it's one way, very soon they will run. Am I communicating now? Gratitude. Gratitude. Gratitude is a weapon to a greater height. When you keep saying thank you, you keep going up. You keep going up. Give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord. You are driving, thank you, Lord. You are eating, thank you, Lord. You wake up, thank you, Lord. Your children are fine, thank you, Lord. They are not fine. Thank you, Lord. Your head is having challenge. Thank you, Lord. Sorrow upon sorrow. Thank you, Lord. In everything, give thanks. Maybe we don't understand that scripture. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So the greatest favor any man can receive is recommendation. When you are around helpers, they don't write it on their forehead. Destiny helper. No helper writes it on their head. I'm your helper. See, the Bible says it's like a, a silver of gold wrapped in a different. Um, I don't know how the scripture put it. Sometimes you know raw gold is, is ordinary stone. But when it passes through the fire, it becomes valuable. There are helpers that come to you. On a raw state, you are the one that will refine them. You are the one that refines them. That's why I value every one member God has ever allowed to pass through my path. I value them. I value them. So sometimes when people say, Oh, pastor always go close to certain people. Uh uh. That season comes, season go. I have stayed with you for a long season. To pray for God to break you through. You are not breaking through. Another person come. I will pray for God to, to pray, break through. <laughs> Must I stay with you to suffer for life? Lord, change the story of this, my brother. Change the story of this, my sister. You refuse to change. And God brought another person. Ah, one prayer, breakthrough. Ah, ah. Even if a father has 70 children, there are favorite. Yes, sir. Even God has favorite too. He said, you are the apple of his eyes. You can't touch me. I'm God's favorite. Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. I am grateful. To... That's why there are some people who have left here. We still communicate. Papa said something. People don't leave church. They leave pastors. If I leave here now, those who left before may still come back. Yes, sir. Am I communicating now? So, opportunity to be grateful to everyone that passes your path. Recommendation. See, people you meet may not have cash to give you or may not give you cars, but they can give you card. Yes, sir. They can give you card. Who recommend you matters. And when you climb, don't forget those that, recomm that recommend you. Because they can also de recommend. See, I spoke for him before when he was lawyer. Do you know what God said? God recommended Saul to Samuel. 
He said, I am sending somebody to you tomorrow. Make him a king. Saul so never knew. You went to a company to seek for employment. Somebody spoke on your behalf. Someone is coming, but don't let them know I'm the one. Just give them a job. And you got a job. You just you are not boasting. Before the same person that recommended you, it is my expertise. It is my wisdom. It is, and the person said, oh, okay. And we'll call the person and say, I recommended you before. I did. Uh... <laughs> you just go to the office. They just serve you a letter. Your contract is hereby terminated. Unfortunately, we are sorry. And you are wondering, powers of my father's house. No, they are not after you. Ingratitude is after you. Ungratefulness is a spirit that reduces people. It's after you. The Lord said to Samuel, Saul is coming. Saul never knew. God just carried the ass and throw. It was God that took the Saul's father's ass and said, Ass, come, let's throw. Because he's the shepherd. He just led the ass to where Saul we meet destiny. Let the ass to where Saul we meet destiny. And Saul left past three cities or three villages to look for a house. What? And which strength does ask us to travel from Rambet to Jobet to Soweto to Dan 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 and start going to different places? And Saul was trekking with the servant. And the servant said, There is a seer in this place recommendation. And Saul said, I don't have penny to give to him because at that time, even till now, it's unlawful to see a prophet empty handed. I want to see my father in the Lord. No matter how small it is, there must be an envelope. And he said, I have a half chili we can give to him. And when they went, and the Lord, when Saul was coming, Samuel saw him, and the Lord spoke to Samuel. This is he of whom I spoke to you about. Somebody recommended you. So be grateful. It's not your expertise. It's not your technical know-how. It's not your wisdom. Someone spoke for you. The greatest thing that can put to a man is to have people speaking for you. Be grateful. If this is the only point I say today, I think I'm okay. Maybe next Sunday we enter the restaurant. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. I can't remember. I have, before I got married and before I fully entered into ministry, my family were my priority in the place of prayer. I'll spread their picture on the floor, cabotion on their head, Holy Ghost, let there be open heaven. As ministry responsibility increase, I pray more. My biological brothers and sisters follow me online. They are online now, watching me. My elder ones, my mom, all of them, they follow me online. They watch me. I pray more for members, you now, than I pray for my siblings. I pray more for what? Lord, because I know they also have pastors praying for them more. And they pray for their family. Sometimes you just say, What has Pastor done for me? Don't always expect physical things from your man of God. Yes, sir. The spiritual release is more than it. I may not give you cash, but I've given you what produces more cash. Apostle Paul said, after we minister to you, you become, he said, there are people that came here poor, they became rich. And some of you see, say, since I know pastor, he has not given me a cup of water. Really? This one I'm doing now, what is it? I'm quenching your spiritual taste. Feeding you, I will give you a pastor after my heart, not the one that will give you money. If God blesses me, I can bless you. As God increases my level, I can give cars. Yes, Our Father in the Lord has given uncountable cars, but from the beginning it was not so. Yes, sir. Why can't you wait for me to enter there first before you start saying, Pastor does not give? Am I communicating now? When I cannot start selecting. I cannot start selecting, go to, you know, I'm happy driving second car. What happens if I drive a brand new and it's under company servicing for five years? 
Even if something punctured the tire, you call the company, come and take your car. Bring another one for me. Hello. I was supposed to say all day long, we are persecuted. Necessity is laid on me. And woe is me if I preach not the gospel. Sometimes pastors are in pain. They still take care of you. I was telling one of our men, he said, ah, sir, I have waist pain. I can't come. I said, really, should I tell you my own? I said, should I tell you my own? For two months, I was having pain on my waist. Yes, standing to preach to you. Sometimes I'm preaching, I'm doing like this. You don't understand. You think pastor is exercising. I'm doing like this. I'm doing like this. I'm trying to exercise the vein. So that we are bleeding. Still making sure to say, Lord, this one stands. Gratefulness is an attitude. How grateful you are determines how far you go. How grateful you are determines how far you go. Say, Lord, I'm grateful. 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 Say, Gratitude is a function of wisdom in display or at work in your life. It is never too late to say thank you. Maybe some of you, if you live here now, just send somebody a thank you message. I'm, I'm number one. No? I'm preaching reality here. I'm number one. Sir, thank you for all these years you have been pastoring me. You know, someone came to a point and said, anyone here, let me ask you a question now. If I've ever taken your money, if I've taken your wife, taken your children, and they say, you have not done anyone. There are pastors that mess up teenagers. There are pastors that mess up people's life. They put you on that, on that duress to bring money. Put you on that duress to bring money. I told somebody, I said, Steve, stop. Don't so for now, stop. When God answers what we are praying for, any amount you want to so I won't stop you. Don't I need money? I need it. I said, but now, I'm a pastor. I consider people. Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. Be grateful to God. Be great. Sometimes I look at people. Somebody raised you up from nothing to something. And, and when you grew, you're not taught that you don't need them. You may never know the importance of a father over your life until you walk out of his covering. So you walk out of his cover, you not discover it's not easy. Hello? You not discover it's not easy. This morning I sent a message to my father in the Lord. Thank you, Daddy, for being there for us, for my family. I'm OFM Rambeck. We say thank you for fathering us. You think it's all pastor? We go through what our father has gone through and still stand? So we just leave you. They let the sheep face their <laughs> to your tent to Israel. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come reconcile. See him standing. When you have a father that cares, celebrate God. Oh. Yes, there are some fathers that are vampires. There are some fathers, they are not father at all. When you have one, be thankful. Say, Lord, I'm thankful for the kind of spiritual parents you have given to us. Let me say this before we pray. I said in life, never hurt anyone that has ever helped you, prayed for you, sheltered you, fed you, no matter their present on deal, or no matter their present deed, no matter what they are doing presently now, that does not tally with your belief. Don't speak against them. I learned it from my father in the Lord. Said there were people that gave him Makwenya, Bof, Bof, Bons, and Fanta. When he was going through, he's going through. When he was going through the wounding process of the Holy Spirit. The wound, see, the Holy Ghost must wound you, mold you, no, break, wound you, break you. If you don't allow him to mold you, he will wound you. And when he wound you, he will mold you. <laughs> when 
when he was going, he said he cannot fight them. He said one was speaking against him. And he said, ah, this guy, let's lock him up. He said, no, I remember this guy. He gave me Fanta. When I was, need, when I was in need of to quench my thirst, he said, no, I can't fight him. He said, ah, ah what is Fanta? Eh? What is Fanta? What is called drink? <laughs> Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. Be, no matter how small a favor is, be grateful for it. Appreciate it. Your husband counts money for you to buy food at home. That's, it's wrong for women to count money in front of their husband. He gives you money for feeding. You are counting it in his front. He say, wait before you leave. <laughs> for what? What's this? So what's this? My friend, they give you your mate are giving their wife 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. Where were you when they were making their money? It's, it's, it's wrong. If he gives you, say thank you. Some men don't even give. Yet yeah, they want to eat. Some men, I can't remember. I've not met some old. I'm just speaking in abstract. Because they are not here. They can't be here. They've not given their wife money to cook food. But yet every evening, every morning, they want to eat. How can a man eat what he does not provide for? And you are not afraid that you eat poison. He said, where's my food? No, I'm the head of the house. No, you are not the head. You are the tail. If you can't provide for your house, you have lost your headhood. You are the tailhood. <laughs> Praise God. He said, Are you still with me at all? He yes, said, ah. Some people, in fact, when you say your husband gives you 2,000 rand to cook, some women will be thanking God. How I wish my husband can even give me a tithe of that for one month, 200 rand for one month. I'll be happy. Yes, you are not satisfied though. Say so for what? What would this do? No. That lead to, if you are grateful, will provoke more. Yes, sir. So men have never, their wife keep changing with one. They don't know how she's getting the money. And she played good hair. You have not even recommended it or you have not even appreciated it to look at her face. Say, so, wow. How many men told their wife this money they are beautiful? Wife, don't lie. Your husband, your husband told you you are beautiful. Can I see your hand? It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is. So, if you are married, woman, you raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Before you, no, don't, don't give the mic. <laughs> Before you leave the house this morning, your husband did not tell you you are beautiful. Eh? <laughs> there is something you cannot do. Protocol breaker. <laughs> Please, please, let's commend what we have. If not, another man will still laugh from you. What she has never heard you say, that another man keeps telling her, very soon, her heart will leave you. Her heart will leave you. I'm your pastor. Last Sunday, I saw two of her married women. I told my wife, I said, what happened? They changed. Wow. One put on with one. I should not look like small girl. I said, really, you? Look how beautiful you are. So where were all these things before? If I'm your pastor, I can notice changes in you and your husband does not notice it. Please bring them to this evening service. We need to teach them how to appreciate. Sometimes if, if my wife finished dressing and I'm forgetting to comment that she's keep looking at me. You're not seeing me. Ah, you look beautiful. 
you look beautiful. This morning, even when I was entering the church, she met me at the door. Are you okay, dear? I said, I'm very fine. I said, wow, you look beautiful. I said, thank you. When you keep appreciating what you have, it will not depreciate. Stop looking at her. I say, can't you see your mate? Look at the way you are just fatty. You are just hard. You, just... you still know what you have been doing. You are the one making her hard. Appreciate her addition. Just look at you. You are just working. You are just working anyhow. That is what you have turned her into. Appreciate her like that. Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. If there is a way your wife is moving you don't like, call her. Don't just talk. Go and give her high heel. When a woman wears high heel, she does not walk anyhow. If not, she will somersault. <laughs> you want her to cut work, give her high heel. By the time she waits, that's how you do not see her. She started, at first, the knee will be not clean each other. Because she's not used to it. Say, wear it. Wear it. This morning, I was coming down. Um, the, the greeters, one of the greeters came to us. I told my wife, I said, why are brothers blind? Look how beautiful she is. They are not seeing her. I told her, I said, look how beautiful you are. Brothers are not seeing her. She says, I don't understand though. And you are praying, Lord, give me wife, give me wife. And the wife is passing you. You are not appreciating what you are seeing. Stop praying and stop giving us prayer point. Yes. If you want a wife, come and meet me. I know who to recommend for you. But make sure you are a good person. Praise the Lord. Are you still with me? Yes, sir. Celebrate Jesus. Has God done anything for you? Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. Hallelujah. Be grateful. Many of us are the reason behind our smallness because we are not grateful. When you don't show gratitude to people God has used to help you, when they stop, they are not the only one that will stop helping you. Everybody that is in their circle we stop helping you. Why? Because they will talk with themselves. You say, that guy, no, 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 that lady, forget her. She, do, she thinks everything is a right. When you think everything is a right, you can never be appreciative. When you think everything is a right, you can never be grateful. You have a faithful husband, it's not a right. Be grateful. In this untoward generation, very soon winter will finish. Even in this winter, some people still wear things that me, I will wear five clothes. Cold is still entering me. Some people will wear what they should wear inside and still be walking inside cold. Mama will tell me, it's not what you are taking, they are taking. The fire burning in them. It's not what it's not the same fire burning in you. Some are on fire. <laughs> they can't wear jackets, they are on fire. <laughs> And yet, your husband is normal under this kind of atmosphere. You should be grateful, though. <laughs> under this kind of atmosphere, you have husband that goes out and come back the same. Nothing altered him. <laughs> Nothing altered him. And he's coming home, you are fighting. Ha! The secretary that is kneeling down for him, that is appreciating. Ah, oh God, thank you. If not for you that employed me, I would have been in the street. Sir, so thank you. In the morning, she will bring a cup of coffee. Capacino. Is it cappuccino they call it? Capacino. I don't drink coffee. I, I find even the smell irritates me. <laughs> so that's why. And she will bring it with very mini fireful skirt. With her heat. That's how she will come. And will give it to a guy. A guy, thank you. And go back. In fact, two knees on the floor. She knows what he's doing. And the man will come home. The wife will just drop the food on the table. Here's your food, useless man. <laughs> what you call useless to another person is very valuable. Before you know it, your husband is no more coming home on time. 
he waits with the secretary in the, in the office. They will just be gisting. He has not committed sin yet, though. <laughs> they are just gisting. The secretary is winning his heart. You are losing him because of ingratitude. And losing him because of ingratitude. No matter how beautiful you are, appreciation will keep every man around you. Rise up. Let's pray. No matter how beautiful you are, appreciation will keep a man around you. We're going to pray, Lord, give me the wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom for gratitude. Wisdom for gratitude. Wisdom for gratitude. See, Papa said something one time. He said, if you always forget, sometimes write down people who has helped you. So that you will not forget. Not only uh, evil, you write on diaries. Write good on diary. Write good on diary. In fact, have a diary for good deed, not evil deed. When people do you good, write it with, with ink. When people do you bad, write it on the sand. So that it can easily be erased. Don't have a diary for errors. Have a diary for good things. Remember where people help you. Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. Don't ever use this word. Nobody has ever helped me. Nobody has ever helped me. Whatever I, wherever I am now is by my strength. Don't use those words. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't use those words. Don't use those words. Luke 17, 20, 12 to 19. Jesus said, go and show yourself. While they were going, one saw that he was healed. He returned back to say thank you. And Jesus said, you are made whole. You are made whole. No man is selfish. People are just tired of helping in great. People are tired of helping in great. To continually enjoy favors. And platforms always be grateful always be grateful to men god uses to bring you out of darkness into light and never use these words what have you done for me if we were not there god would have still used another person that was a wrong statement is a statement of ingrate if you were not there god would have still used another person Ah, if God were to wait for that person, he would have died. He would have died. Don't use what have you done for me. They, people have done a lot for you. Just that they've not given you what you keep seeing. Am I communicating now? When you were down, somebody sent you a text message to say, just checking on you. That gave you hope. And you say, what have you done? Hallelujah. Amen. Say, are you my God? Don't always use that word. Are you my God? That you help me, should I bow to you? These are words that, that hurt the heart of those who have helped you. There are some people that decided not to help before, not to help again, not because they want to be wicked, just because people have always hurt them after they help them. Don't make another person need to die because of your ingrate. And don't use this word, nobody has nobody has ever helped or nobody has never helped me or favored me don't ever don't use those words he said nobody has they, they, in, in my life there's nobody has ever helped me really when the rain was falling somebody pick you and drop you is that not help but we don't count it as help hello And don't use the word, my smartness brought me all my achievement. If not for my smartness, I would not have been here. And finally, don't use this word, I don't need anybody in life. You need everybody, but you can't do without anybody. Hello? Hi. You need everybody, but you can't do without anybody. I was in the shower when the Holy Spirit gave me this word. He said, you need everybody in life. 
but get to a point where you can do without anybody but not without God so don't say I don't need you get lost out of my life for good and tomorrow you are going people are fighting you the person just look at you and pass I told a young man who was insulting me I said you know why I'm making peace with you because I don't know where we will meet tomorrow I may be in thy need and you are there if I don't make peace now you will not speak for me I said you may be in need if I'm hot of what you have done to me I will not be able to speak for you I said, so I'm making peace now for tomorrow. I said, I'm making peace for tomorrow. When you always look at tomorrow, you'll be grateful. Yesterday is gone. Today is your own. Tomorrow is not your own. You must be grateful. For every day you see, be grateful. What you are asking for, God has not done it yet. Be grateful. Lift up your hands and just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank Say, Lord, I give thanks to you. Lord, I, give thanks I give you thanks. Thank you. I give you thanks, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I give you thanks, Lord. Thank I give you, Lord. you thanks, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy shata, shata, shata. Thanks. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I am so glad my soul has found rest. Praise God, I give you thanks. I'm going to say, Lord, I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom to be grateful. Open your mind and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. I receive wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom to be grateful. Lord, I receive wisdom. Wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom to be grateful. Wisdom to be grateful. Grateful. Wisdom to be grateful, Lord. I receive wisdom. Lord, I receive wisdom. Wisdom to be grateful. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray, Lord. Any door that I have closed as a result of ingratitude by your mercy, open me a new door. Amen. By your mercy, open me a fresh door. Amen. There are people that have vowed never to help again. Because those they've helped has battered their heart. Those they've helped. You came to this country, somebody took you in. You came to this country, or you are you are free born, you are born here. And somebody has helped you somehow. Don't hurt them. Don't hurt them. Because you don't know who is closing your doors because of ingratitude. Do you know people know you more than you know yourself? When help is coming, as somebody who has encountered you when you were in your in your ingratitude level, it does not leave people. What you do to men does not leave them. They can still hold on to that thing. And you have changed, but they've not seen that change in your present life. So they can still use your past against your present. So say, no, that guy is, is a, if you are looking for an ungrateful human being, that is the person. Say, really? He say, I have this person before. He turned his back and stabbed me. I vow that they knew where I see help coming to his, his life. I will block it. There are people like that. 
Lord, any door, opportunities I am losing or I have closed as a result of ingratitude, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. And restore my open doors. Restore my opportunities. Yeah. Open your mouth and pray. Basha kata rabada basha. Rade de la brusa goranga de balagusho. Rade la gada 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 balagusho. Any doors, opportunities I have lost. Father, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy, Lord. Show me mercy. Bala brusa shada. Rade de la gada 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 Raka parada la bada bosa. Lord show me mercy. Lord show me mercy. Lord show me mercy. Open me a new doors. Open me a new doors. Open me doors of opportunities. Raka la gada 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 gada. Raka te 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 te. Raka da gada 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 gada. Raka da gada 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 bosa. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I'm gonna pray, Lord. I reject the spirit of forgetfulness. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not one of his benefits. Who oh, he led thy iniquities and forgiveth all thy diseases. Who oh, he led thy diseases and forgiveth all thy iniquities. Who oh, satisfied thy youth and renewed thy strength like that of eagles. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And forget not one of all his benefits. As God be grateful. As God be, as God be grateful to you. Then you must be grateful to God. You must be grateful to God. Father, as I pray, I reject the spirit of forgetfulness. I'll tell you this. The year I took over around the church. 2016. Throughout that year, at the end of the year, I was like, hi. Now, wow. This place, they don't even bless their pastor at all. What is going on? And the Spirit of God rebuked me sharply and said, You are forgetful. People have been blessing you just that you don't take account. You don't take account of people blessing you. So people met you on the way, they gave you an envelope. Some people went on the way, they bless you. Some come to church, they bless you. Because you just use it, the money is small, you just use it anyhow, you forgot. Start taking notes from 2017. I started taking notes of people who God has been using. So now I can't remember when last I said these people because out of 100, at least 20 are trying. That's a pass mark now. Am I communicating now? Yes, sir. Say, count your blessings, name them one by one. It will surprise you what the Lord has done. Don't forget, people have helped you. People have helped you. And some of us, if you are still living here now, people will still help you. Amen. People will still bless you. Amen. So be grateful. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Be grateful. Lord, I reject the spirit of forgetfulness. I reject. See, our Father in the Lord has helped all the pastors in Omega from day one till Jesus will come. Papa has helped everybody. He may not have given some cars. He may not have given some houses. But he has given platforms. There are some that enjoy the privileges of cars. Others may not. But you can't use that to rate his given life. Are you getting it now? Yes, sir. You can't use that to rate the given life. But he has helped. He has given platform. The best thing any man can give you is platform. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Platform can deliver the kind of weight you have never seen in your life. But when they grow, ah, it's not him that make me have my anointing. By the time they stay on the other, they discover they start drying. When a branch is having enough fruit, you will think that it does not need the stem. When it's disconnected, all the fruit will wither. And it will start shrinking. Start shrinking. There are people who left Archbishop Bessie Dowser years ago. They still have the regret of leaving him the way they left. A branch is flourishing. Ah, the wind is blowing, everything is shaking, people are waving, people are celebrating. Yeah, it will enter your head, you say, It's my anointing. Eh? You forgot the scripture that says, The anointing flow from the head of Aaron to his beard, to his apron, to his skirt, everything. So the oil flow from the top to the body. But people don't have memories. 
I preached a message before um, on gratitude. And I said, one thing you don't need to f- forget or to, one thing you need to have is a good memory. Having a good memory helps you to retain favor. Having a good memory helps you to retain favor. Praise the Lord. Father, as I pray, I reject the spirit of forgetfulness. Everyone that has ever helped me, may I not forget them. Amen. May I not forget them. Amen. Open your mind and pray this, pray this last Father, prayer. I reject the spirit of forgetfulness. I reject the spirit of forgetfulness. forgetfulness. I reject, oh Lord, the spirit of forgetfulness. I reject, Lord, the spirit of Spirit of forgetfulness, I reject Lord. Eh, shakali brusha, rate lege lege lege. Yande galenga kolosenda ziya, rate lege 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 Ta 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 ta, rete tele gada 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 busha, rete tele gada gada In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please permit me to add this. Lord, give me a heart of gratitude. Give me the heart of gratitude. If a woman has suffered with you, she has every right to enjoy with you. She has every right to enjoy with you. Some men, the, the kind of heart they have is that the wife they have now is anointed to suffer. So when money comes, the nurse says she's not beautiful. Really. Money can make the ugliest woman on earth to be very, very, very handsome. When a woman is too fine, she becomes handsome. When a man is too handsome, he becomes beautiful. Money can... Do you know what pancake can do these days? What foundation? Is it pancake they call it? Eh? Is it pancake? Eh? Pancake now? Eh? It's pancake now. Not the one you eat though. Eh? It's pancake we call it. You gave him a fine name. We are breaking foundation. You are rubbing foundation. <laughs> and there is concealer. That one conceal all the spots. If you wash up, when you reach us now, when some people start washing their face, you discover that it's so, it's, you know this old house, mud. Those are the things they just brandish. Oh. Those mud. Those yellow, yellow sand. They just brandish it. Start rub, rubbing it. Our grandmother never rubbed those things. Yet, they stay in their marriage till they die. No, your grandmother of recent. <laughs> your grandmother. I, nev- I stayed with my grandmother in the village. I never saw her using lead. They stay natural, yet they retain their husband. You see people wearing all those things like this now. Eh? They wear everything like this, yet you say your wife is not fine. Beautify her! People are going to beauty school these days. By the time they change that woman, you say it's not fine. You will confess Jesus is Lord. Spoil her with your money. Am I complicated now? Spoil her with your money. Say, you know what? Even if I don't like this thing, go and make up. And some people don't, some women don't make up. They just leave themselves like that. Why must you leave yourself like that? I love what my wife is doing to the women of this branch now. We tell them, dress well so that your husband will not look somewhere else. Very important. Very important. Stop wearing those boo-boo. If you want the man to have a heart of appreciation, we have something he can appreciate. You are hiding everything. The man is looking for something to appreciate. He's not seeing them. He now see somebody else. He appreciates your countenance change. Say, my husband, I'm here. Oh. He said, hey, my wife, you are here, but I can't see you. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. If your wife suffers with you, she is legalized with all right to enjoy with you. If a woman that have labored with a man cause him, it will work faster. 
She was with you when you were drinking gari. When you were eating pap with that drumstick. She was with you when you were only eating chips. Just chips. Without meat. She was with you when you were eating once a day. She will go and beg to come and feed your children. Now God decides to smile on you because of her. You now say she's not beautiful. They can't cause you, will cause you. No prophet can break it. No matter how anointed the prophet is, he can't break it. You know, when Jacob caused Reuben, even Moses could not break it though. Because Jacob was higher than Moses in the realm of the spirit. Moses only said, Let Reuben live and not die. Let not the same be few. It was not the breaking of the curse. If you check history, the lineage of Reuben was eradicated. There are causes prophet can break. So don't provoke a genuine wife. If a genuine wife pray for you, heaven respond. And if he curse you, in fact, it's not only heaven, the host. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Some men, some men, do you know, Papa called out, please, sorry, I'm taking your time. Papa called out a woman, a man, and he said, your wife curse you. He said, and the wife came out, the wife was in church, he said, I'm not a witch, oh. Let me explain. This man, we prayed. This man was poor. We prayed. And God bless him. Started carrying women. He does not even look at the children at home. You know, I said, Lord, we love our father when he was poor. He was always with us. So we love him in his poverty. Please, remove the wealth. The man returned to <laughs> below poverty. He became the institute of poverty himself. Don't hurt women. The same womb that can bring a child can swallow a destiny. Lord, give me a heart of gratitude. Some men, when you live here, compose a test and send to your wife. You are the best wife. Hello? When you live here, compose a test to your woman. Legalize oh. no boyfriend and girlfriend, no roommates to your legal wife, no side chick, <laughs> not handbag, no side mirror <laughs> to say thank you for being who you are. You are the best. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, give me a good heart. Lord, Open your mind and pray that prayer lastly. Lord, give me a good heart. Lord, give me a good heart. A heart of gratitude. 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 Give me a heart of gratitude, Lord. Give me a heart of gratitude. Jesus, give me a heart of gratitude. Jesus, give me a heart of gratitude. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I speak the blessing of God upon you. As you maintain the heart of gratitude, may you experience greater height in life. Greater height in life. Every door that has been closed against us because of ingratitude. Father, we ask that by mercy, let those doors be open again. Those who have been hurt because of our level of lack of understanding in time past. Those who have walked away from us because of our ignorance in time past lord now we know better by your mercy connect us back again in the name of jesus every contact that we have lost lord as a result of ingratitude by mercy let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name we pray celebrate jesus hallelujah were you blessed? Were you blessed? Amen. Amen. Get out of the seat, faith. We're going to dance to God. Get out of the seat, faith.